in this video I will explain what is the dot next folder and how the things work behind the scene when you execute npm run build command in next js 13 so I have already executed npm run build command and basically what that command does is that it creates the optimized production build for our application and it also generates the static pages as you can see over here and at the bottom it is showing what all uh, pages were generated and if it is a static page or server side page or it was generated using SSG technology. So you can see that this home page and about page and favicon.ico these pages have been generated statically and they are static pages. What it means is that they are ready to be served. HTML versions of these pages have been generated. So if you want to see that uh, in the .next folder, so .next folder is created after I executed the npm run build command. And in here you will find those static pages. So when I say that the page is static, it means that HTML version of that page is ready to be served. So if you go to the home page, you will find that .html page over there, index.html is there. Then there is about.html page is there. So whenever someone accesses that page, this information will be sent to the client. And you can see that contact dot, uh, contact this route, this is a server side route. It means that it cannot be generated statically. This page cannot be generated statically. And also you will not find the HTML version of this page in this particular directory dot next server app because this particular directory is going to hold only those pages that can be generated statically. If someone wants to access this page, request will be sent to the server. The server will build that page at runtime and then response will be sent to the client. And then down here we have got this field dot. So basically these particular pages are generated for the dynamic route. So you can see that here we are using this dynamic route segment ID. At runtime a client can send any value over here. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But if you know ahead of time what kind of values it can have that ID segment you can statically generate those pages and when those pages are generated generated it is called as ssg static site generation so in this case i mentioned that okay this id can have values of one and two and three and based upon that it has generated those pages for us as well so if you go to the to do's you can see that one dot html two dot html and three dot html these pages have been generated and if you look at the source code as well you can see here in the source code. So generate static parameters, params. So this is the special function that is used to specify the actual values for that dynamic route segment. So I have mentioned one, two, three, and that is why it has created those pages for us. That is called as SSG. So in the dot next folder, there are other files as well. So if you go to the server and the app, you will notice that along with about.html which is a static page we have also got about that meta so it contains the other information for that page and then there is about.rsc so this is stands for the react server component and uh, this is how it is represented so if a client needs to prefetch this particular page it is actually gonna fetch this information because this information is required to generate the page for this particular route okay this is useful uh, if you want to prefetch that particular component and same way if here we have got index.rsc so if you want to uh, fetch any component then this particular files will be used index.rsc about.rsc and if someone wants to access the actual page uh, through the browser url then those pages will be served about.html and index.html the difference is, is that in if you look at the about.html you can see that there is head tag body tag so everything a normal html page but if you look at about.rsc, this file basically contains a React server component representation. And this is how the React server component is represented and it is sent to the client. Okay, there is no HTML body, something like that. Some different notations you can see here. That is how it is represented. That's it. Thanks for watching.